Yo, what's up you guys? Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to boost your frames on Team Fortress 2. So, you know, go ahead and roll the intro, bro. Yo, so let's go and hop right into the video. Um, so the first one is mods. So for the mods, what you're going to want, um, if you don't want to type in Matfunk Zero, then, um, you know, you could get the mod. Uh, all links to everything will be in the description, don't worry. So the first one would be the, um, the no phone mod. Um, the second one would be a particle mod, which just basically takes away some particles, but doesn't take away a lot of them. It just makes the textures, it keeps everything in the textures important, but takes everything that's not important out of it, making it not as big of a file. So, um, for the mods, I'd say that's about it. If there's any extra ones, I'll put it down in the description. Um, what you're going to want to um, run your TF2 off of is Razer Cortex. I cannot explain to you guys how good this is. Let me go and start up Razer Cortex. Let it load and everything. I'll tell you what to do. But it's really awesome. Um, I'm going to go down through the procedures of what to do with Razer Cortex. But um, let that go ahead and load. But let's just go ahead and get on Team Fortress 2 and I'm going to tell you what to type um, into your set launch options. So, oh no, come on. So, while that's loading, I think my whole computer fucked up on me. But, uh, what you want to do is, you want to right click on Team Fortress 2. You want to go to properties. And um, after you do that, you can load. I'm not rushing you, you can load. You want to go to set launch options. So once you're at set launch options, uh, I'm just going to give you everything to put in here. Um, yeah, uh, one thing that you want to change, which I'll change in the description, is the DX level 80. Uh, I use mine for certain skins, but you want it to be 80, so change to 9 to 80. I'm going to have it in the description as 80 anyway, so don't even worry about it. But I'm going to give you the, uh, the set launch options, and that will boost your frames a lot, believe me. So, um... Believe me whenever I say that you want Razer Cortex to load. Um, like, just make an account. Like, make an account for Razer Cortex. It'll be way worth it in the end, I promise you. Your frames will boost up so much. It'll be incredible. But um, if my computer would stop being a jackass and load right, that'll probably be, that'll be pretty good. But um, let's go through some of the mods I have real quick. Turn mod. But... Or what, oops, CFG, we need to go to that real quick. So, auto is that um, video that I made already about how to make it. Just uh, go and look through it. But, um, yeah, I'll have all this down in the description. Don't worry about it. But this basically turns off Gibbs, which will save you for big time. Um, interp ratio, you don't need to worry about that. It's just for projectiles shooting. It's something crazy. You just don't want to worry about it. Um, this is what one of the big ones right here is the uh, ragdolls. It'll turn off ragdolls. I don't know why you would need them. It actually does save a lot of frames. It's just unnecessary data in the server. Um, spread around the maps for no reason because ragdolls. But, um, bang. Let's uh, go through my mods real quick. So, Windows C, program files times 86. If you don't know the route, here it is. Uh, Steam Apps, Common, Fortress 2, TF, what I have, have um, don't, don't worry about this, really. I'm just, just look at this, I have a, a lot of mods, just so many mods, I have a lot. There's a light particle mod I was talking about, yeah, I don't really have a lot of um, saving frames and stuff like that but um i know one thing that besides phone mod uh, the phone mod takes away characters and but not, not weapons for some reason so weapons if you have an australian weapon it'll keep it on the weapon like it won't be a block of cheese so you know if you don't like block of cheese uh weapons then that'll probably be like the best mod for you 
I know that I use uh, the Fong mod because I use a lot of um, I use a lot of reskinned mods that are reskinned to be Australian, and I don't like cheesed weapons. But it will it will save more frames to have cheesed weapons than to not have cheesed weapons. So that's much the logic behind that. Um, for the system, uh, the system there's so much that you can do. Um, Going into your passions, it's something different than like most power. I don't know the exact name of it. You want to have like a very like high amount. Um, I recommend and if you're running on like I'm running on a laptop, so I don't gotta worry about overclocking my CPU because I can't. Well, I mean I can, but I'll have to download softwares and I don't feel like doing that shit. But overclocking your CPU would be really good. Just make sure you don't overclock it a lot. If you're on an actual like machine, um, updating your CPU, GPU, everything like that will make your game run a thousand times better. Um, but essentially, what Razer Cortex does, it basically will programs that you're using during gaming, and it'll make like it'll RAM in every game itself, so you can run way better than what it used. Would um, let's you know, on soul manager. So open up your task manager and just uh, click on more details, um, make that full screen. Um, and you're gonna want to go to uh, let's see here, performance. Uh, no, performance. you want to start up, and I don't really, have, but. I only use anything that you really need during something, so I have update admin disabled, my Xbox stat, it's basically where I can use my PS3 controller and play Skyrim and stuff like that. Uh, I don't know why I have that enabled, uTorrent. Um, it shouldn't be uh, disabled. Um, D clean, probably, it's really good. Uh, I should probably tell you how to get the pro version later. But I'll do that in a later video. But I'm gonna see here. Yeah, you do anything you really need right here and disable them. That way, uh, your computer can focus on that. I don't know why I'm taking so much of this. I, I really just don't know. Don't worry about me downloading Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. I give up and then I gotta do something. But I'm um, see what else. Um, we went through them already. Uh, if you didn't know, I edit with Camtasia Studio, just something crazy you should know, or whatever. I don't know if you're nosy and want to know. But, um, yeah, that's over here. Let's see if there's anything else I can really show you guys. Um, let's see here. Uh, uh, fuck. No, it's not the other. Hold up. Let's see here. Um, COMP computer. Oh no, it's uh, hold up. Power arms. Will it have it? There we go. Um, type in power options. This will probably be a long video, to be honest, because I'm taking you through everything that I do. And. Yeah, if you look at my older videos, I had really bad frames, but I did a lot of this and it made my frames run really good. So, uh, all right, so Razer Cortex, you know what? I'll just leave mine at that, but um, yours will probably be on Power Saver or something like that. Um, make sure you have it on high performance. Yeah, make sure you have it on high performance. So, high performance, or if you want Razer, they're basically the same thing. Razer and high performance are basically the same thing. So if you get Razer, you'll have that, which it, it's pretty much better to um, have that. But um, for Razer, what you want to do is, if you don't have TF2, I know most people say that you have to like press plus and um, go into browse and then like choose your game through your desktop or whatever. 
But for me, you really don't have to do that. Uh, pretty much what you want to do is go to boost. So you're going to want to click boost, and um, this is the tricky part for me because it fucks with me. I don't know why it likes to fuck with me, but it does, it just likes to fuck with me sometimes. Come on. Please. Restore? Would that work? Ah, uh, fuck me. Um, did that do it? I'm not sure if that did it or not. Hold up. Um, processes, services, uh, oh, select. Nope. But basically what you want to do is, you want to check as many as these box boxes as you can, except if it's anything important that you don't want to check it. But the more you check, the more frames you will get. So, the more you check, the more frames you'll get. Um, for processes, just make sure to check everything on processes. Um, for this, only check what you want. Like, as to be, services don't really matter that much. This, uh, non-Windows services, I won't even mess with that. Because a lot of it is about like the core of your computer and you really will not want to fuck with that. But um, a lot of this, cleaning RAM and everything, um, you want to make sure to check or whatever. But um, once you go to games and you click Team Fortress 2 and then you click start game, it'll actually boost it, which you just saw a little bit, it was unboosting it. But it'll actually boost it and everything, which is like, I don't know, I just like seeing it boost for some reason. But um, yeah, you can change all the settings and everything. But um... Yeah, uh, that's, that's pretty much all I gotta say, you guys. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I do to boost my frames. But there really isn't, so yeah, I guess that's the end of the video, you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Um, I, yeah, I worked pretty hard on it, you know. Um, I had to like gather up everything and script a lot of stuff, but uh, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I'll probably do a more, I might be doing Skyrim. I might be doing some Skyrim gameplay with like some stories in the background to be talking or something. Or I would be doing a, which I don't know if you want to see, but I'll probably be doing a story with Grand Theft Auto San Andreas in the background. Not like you would want to see that because it's an old game, but still, I'll just be doing a story with it. Not like the fucking background cares, but um, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And like, subscribe, and yeah, peace. We're rocking the elephant print jacket, you feel me?